Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to the Wandering Art Historian YouTube channel. It's me, Adrian Lee, the Wandering Art Historian, and I am back with another web series, Art Snacks. I hope you are ready for just a delectable morsel of art historical facts. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you're like me, you love going to art museums. I love art museums, but sometimes you walk into a room and it's full of these paintings that are that are just like a collection of objects. We call those still life paintings. Have you ever noticed that there's a lot of creepy skulls in these still life paintings? Yeah, okay, so they're there for a reason and it's kind of, um, it is kind of creepy. So these paintings are often considered allegories, which means they represent something else. And honestly, they represent the transience of life, like here today, gone tomorrow kind of situation, like life is fleeting, okay? So in these paintings, the artists decide to include objects that help reinforce that idea. And the easiest way to uh, enforce the idea of transience of life is a creepy skull, right? We have an actual name for that in art history. Memento mori, okay? It is Latin for remember that you have to die or something along those lines, okay? This is because a lot of times these uh, still life paintings are full of really cool objects, but it's kind of the subtle reminder or not so subtle that life is not just fleeting, but also you can't take those objects with you when you go. Check out this painting. Do you see the skull nestled among all these other seemingly random objects? They're not so random. The shell, the tipped over bottle, the candle that's about to be blown out. Yeah, believe it or not, all of those symbols are there to reinforce the idea of the transience of life, an allegory that you just can't take it with you when you go. Yeah, we got off to a creepy start, but I'm totally okay with that. Thank you so much for joining me for Art Snacks. I hope that you'll come back for another delectable morsel of art historical goodness. If you want more content like this, or you just want to read up about more art historical subjects, check out my blog, The Wandering Art Historian blog. It's on WordPress. Check it out um, at the website below. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like button, share your comments with me, share the video with other people you think might be interested, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. You're a delight to be with, and I'm so glad we're back together talking again. I will see you next time. Bye.